Twenty to five. I'm taking a little bit longer than I wanted to, but what the heck? Are you getting something out of this? No. No. Well, I'm gonna put this on your tape so you can go back through it. This is Mr. R. Mom and Dad. Look at him. He's nuts, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. The bearded guy. Who is he? Mendeleev. 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 <laughs> yeah, sure, we go, ho, ho. But he came up with the periodic table that he did uh, based on atomic mass. mass. Very good, very good. Emily, I'm liking you. I was expecting some sort of stereo over here. Atomic mass. All right, there, David got it. All right, now we do it according to atomic number, and we got a beautiful periodic table. And it is set up both vertically and horizontally. In the vertical, we call them columns. In the spreadsheet, we call them here, what? Groups or families. families. Yes, and it tells you the number of electrons in the outer energy level for all the elements in that column, in that group, in that family. Yeah, and it makes them all react the same way. Now, as we go down and you look across, each one of those rows is a different energy level. Yes. So second row down has two energy levels, third row down has, and, and likewise. Okay. Everybody getting this? Families. What are the families we know? We know of that Indian call alkali, right? Earth, and then we got alkaline earth metals, and then we got the T transition, and then we got metalloids. It's a mixed group, and then we got H halogens, and then we got noble gases. Okay. We're